Detecting basics. Secure cable to shaft. Always adjust the detector to a comfortable length to suit your height. Then securely wrap the coil cable around the shaft, leaving just enough loose at the end to allow the coil to be easily adjusted to suit the angle of the terrain. And lay flat when you are digging holes. A loose cable can cause false signals and noise. A loose cable can also get damaged by being caught on branches. Keep metal away from the coil. Your gold detector can detect all kinds of metals, not just gold. Ensure you keep all metal that you are carrying away from the detector's coil. Always carry your digging tool either on your waist or over your shoulder. Do not wear steel cap boots, a watch, rings or other metal jewellery. Move apart. Detecting too close to someone who is also using a gold detector can cause your detector to become unstable, allowing gold to be missed. Move away from the person and keep at least 25 metres apart. Sweep level. Keep the coil as close as possible to the ground and, with each sweep of the coil, maintain a constant, even level above the ground. Do not raise the coil at the end of each sweep. Maintaining the coil at an even level ensures your detector remains stable across the entire sweep so you won't miss gold. Sweep slowly. Sweeping the coil slowly over the ground will ensure you do not miss gold. To be able to do this, you will also need to walk very slowly. Approximately two to three seconds from left to right will allow you to hear faint signals from small gold or deep gold. Overlap sweeps. Each sweep of your coil should overlap your previous sweep. If there are gaps in between each of your sweeps, then you will miss gold. Overlapping your sweeps will ensure that you find more gold. Pinpointing a target. Once you have detected a target, you will need to pinpoint its exact location. This will save you from digging an unnecessary large hole. Start by sweeping the coil over the target and listen for when the response is at its loudest. Mark the spot as a straight line. Now turn 90 degrees and repeat sweeping the coil over the target and listen for when the response is at its loudest. Again, mark this spot as a straight line. Where the two lines intersect is approximately where the target is buried. Digging the hole. First, scrape away the loose leaves and grass from the target area. Then, using the detector, check that the target is still buried. Start digging a wide, flat hole by loosening the soil around the target area with your digging tool. Remove the loose soil into a neat pile at the side of the hole. Use the detector to check if the target is still in the hole. If necessary, keep digging deeper, regularly checking until the target is out of the hole. Once the target is out of the hole, Use the detector to locate it in the pile of dirt. Place the detector coil flat on the ground next to the pile of dirt 
containing the target. Grab a handful of dirt from where the target is and move it across the top of the coil. Remember, if you are wearing any jewellery, the detector may be picking up this rather than your target. If the target is not in your hand, place the dirt into a separate neat pile and move the coil across the pile to reassess the target's location. And grab another handful of dirt. Repeat checking the pile of dirt in this way until the target is in your hand. Divide the dirt into both hands and wave each hand across the detector coil until you hear which one contains the target. If the target is not in your hand, place that dirt into a separate pile. Repeat this dividing process until you locate the target. A plastic scoop is handy and can speed up the process. Refill your hole. Holes can be dangerous for other people or animals, as they may fall. Refilling your holes will prevent these problems and keep your local environment tidy. Detecting in rain. Do not use your detector in rain, as water may enter the control box and coil and cause permanent damage. GPX, Eureka and the Xterra 705 Gold Pack coil should never be submerged underwater, even in shallow puddles. For more information about metal detecting, visit minelab.com.